Hi guys! If you are watching this video, it means my song Unloved is out now everywhere. Oh my gosh! I honestly had a little bit of trouble like starting this video because I feel nervous. Um, this song is probably one of the most vulnerable songs that I've ever written. And when I wrote it, I really wasn't thinking of anyone else hearing it. Like I was very much caught in a moment of emotion and I was just getting it out. And it felt really good to write because I was I was like, no one will ever hear this, you know. But now everyone's going to hear it. So it's a little bit nerve wracking, but it's okay. I'm not really in that place anymore. I wrote this song three years ago and I just wanted to explain it to you guys and tell you the backstory of what it's about after my cat stops ripping up my carpet. Charles, there's two points in a downward spiral. There's when you're in the spiral and then there's when you hit rock bottom and you are aware of the spiral. So I wrote this song before rock bottom when I was still in the middle of everything. But I remember reflecting on all the destructive things I was doing to myself, the ways that I was pushing everyone away, mistreating my body, hanging out with dangerous men and not caring about myself enough to realize that I was putting myself in a very unsafe position. It was the point where I was j finally just starting to look at everything I was doing, like, wait a minute, how did I get here? Like, I remember saying I would never do that or I would never be like that or I would never go in that direction, but I'm getting really close to that. I don't know what's going on. I got, finally got in touch with my emotions for the first time in a while and I realized the deeper thing that was going on, like why I was pursuing these terrible people or pursuing these terrible situations. And I looked at my life and I was like, wow, I feel like a lonely, unlovable, unworthy mess of a person. And these seem like the only ways that I can comfort myself and slightly enjoy my existence. Like I was so down and so lost. It felt like there was no point in trying to be like a good person or trying to have a meaningful life. I was like, oh, that's gone for me. That's over. It's too late. I don't know why I thought that. I might as well just do what I enjoy and like make things fun in the moment because there was no hope for me. That was the point where I looked at my life and realized like I'm really screwing up right now. But I had a moment of self-compassion where I was like, I'm only doing this because I really want to feel loved and valued and cherished. But I don't think that I deserve that and I don't think I'm gonna get it. So I'm doing all these destructive things because that's like the next best thing and that's all that I think I can do about it. I wanted to be in a healthy relationship. I wanted to have good friends. I wanted to be close to the people around me. I wanted to have a healthy body that I was happy with and actually liked. I wanted to have a life that I enjoyed and was actually good, but I didn't know how to make that happen and I felt like I didn't deserve it at all. It's like almost more depressing to realize the things that you want and acknowledge that to yourself and be like, oh my gosh, I really do want that and I don't feel like I'm ever gonna get it and I don't feel like I deserve it. I don't feel like I know how and I don't feel like I'll be able to and I don't feel like I should. I just don't feel good enough. And it mentions all the things that I was doing, you know, destroying my body in various ways, staying up late, hanging out with dangerous men. Luckily, I'll tell you right now, I didn't really get taken advantage of too drastically before your mind wanders, you know? I look back and I'm like, there was opportunities here, 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 here. Like so many people could have just destroyed me. I feel like God pulled me out somehow at the last second, but I was like really going down a path that was heading in a very bad direction. And I don't know how worse things didn't happen. I thank God for that. There's a line in the course, I say, the food, the clothes, the boys, my drugs. I push it down, I lock it up. What it means is, okay, the food that was yo-yoing with my weight, starving myself, binging, doing all that stuff, just messing with my body. And then the clothes, shopping all the time, obsessing over my appearance, trying to put together the perfect outfit as if it's gonna make me happy. The boys, you know, that's pretty self-explanatory. My drugs, I don't mean I was doing drugs, I was saying the food and the clothes and the boys are my drugs. That's what I'm using to like, soothe myself and medicate if you will and then i said i push it down i lock it up so many ways to waste my time i use it all to dry up the flood what that means is i realize i'm doing all these dumb things because i'm trying to push down this horrible feeling of i'm unlovable i'm worthless i will never find love i'll never be in a good relationship and i'll never love myself and i'll never love the way that i look these are bad feelings I don't want to feel, so I'm pushing them down, locking it up by doing these things on the surface, which is, you know, running around with random guys, shopping all the time, 
trashing my body and whatever else. I'm doing all these things because I don't want to feel this stuff. There's so many ways to waste my time. Obviously, I realize these are stupid things that are not getting me anywhere and they're not making me happy, but at least they're making me feel better in the moment. And I use it all to dry up the flood. There's this flood of sadness and shame and worthlessness inside of me. And I was using all those bad habits and all those bad things to just dry it up and pretend like I wasn't feeling it. It's kind of a weird psychological concept. The reason I wanted to release this song, even though it's so personal and so ugly, such an ugly look into my real inner life back in 2015, because I wanted anyone else who's going through that or who's in that mental state right now to hear it from my perspective and realize like, oh, I'm doing that too, but Lisa's not there anymore. There's hope to get out of it and she didn't deserve that and neither do I. I want you to like see the parallels between us and like just for the record, my life is really, really awesome right now. Genuinely. It's not like, oh, I'm so rich and famous or something like that. It's like to the core, when I fall asleep at night all alone by myself, I feel very happy. I'm not like, oh, I'm missing this or I'm missing that. I feel very, very fulfilled and I never thought I would get to this place. So it's so possible even when you feel like it will never happen, it will. And I really want to give you that message of hope and know that as soon as you decide to change and you decide to take steps in the right direction and change paths, it will happen for you. But you have to make the decision and you have to make the commitment. Even when it's not easy and you want to go back to that bad stuff, you have to keep going. That's the key to move in that direction and get away from it. And that's when you'll really see a change in your life and finally experience that happiness that you didn't think was possible. So I just wanted people to hear it and know if you're feeling that way and you feel so alone and so worthless and so ugly, it's not true. You're amazing. You're a beautiful person. You are full of all the potential in the world and all you need to do is start living it out. Potential means nothing if it doesn't get used, but that doesn't mean it's not there. You just don't want to die and realize wow, I could have done all this. I could have loved myself. I could have been happy. I could have stopped chasing after these ridiculous dreams of having a perfect body and being the most rich, handsome, attractive person in the world. I could have just been happy in the moment and I chose day in and day out to not be happy. The choice is all yours and the power is truly within you and with God. If you choose to be happy and accept that your life is not going to be perfect, but it can be really great, like you really can get there and you really can change it. But in the meantime, even now I still have those moments where I just feel really unworthy or scared. I go back to past feelings. Oh, I'm getting like choked up thinking about it. And I still go back and listen to the song sometimes because it's so, it's so real. This video is getting really long. Also, I just started looking at the camera and realized I was looking at the screen the whole time. Hi. But yeah, I just wanted to leave you guys with that message of hope. And I want to tell you that you're a great person and everything can change for you. Do not ever believe your life is stuck the way that it is. Why do you think you are the first person that's able to predict the next 80 years of your life or whatever? Nobody else knows what's gonna happen, but you think you are more special than everyone else and you just know, and you're a psychic, and you know that everything's gonna be bad forever. I always tell that to myself. I'm like, Lisa, why do you think you're so special and so psychic that you know the way things are gonna be even though literally nobody else does? <sighs> things are gonna turn around they did for me and they're just still getting better and every time that I choose to set goals for myself and improve my life and work hard at things I care about and make sacrifices in the name of progress and happiness it pays off you can start and you can get there okay that's my the end of my motivational sermon but I really hope that you guys like the song and I hope that if you hear it and think of anyone that might need to hear it I really hope that you would send it to them and share it and maybe share this video too if they need to hear that I just want to help people and I want to connect and I really want to be something good in someone's life and I hope that this song can be that too. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it and I appreciate you listening and watching this video and listening to the song and now I feel like I'm rambling on and on because I just really care about this song and I really care about this project and this release and I just want everyone that needs to hear it, I want them all to hear it. So please share it and know that this message is just for you too. You deserve a good life. It doesn't have to be like the way things are in this song. I love you guys and none of you are unloved. So don't feel that way. I love you very much and so does God and so do your family and friends. We all care about you. Okay, that is enough. Okay, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Happy unloved release day. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't believe it's finally coming out. Wow, okay, bye. <laughs> so many ways to waste my time. I use it all.